Good morning, folks. Eyes on the sun. Sun diving comet. This energetic ball is going to make its final approach today. Gives us something to monitor on our star. Not like we really need one, though. Bit of backstory. Two years ago, we watched a massive filament turn onto the Earth-facing disk. It released and produced one of the most spectacular eruptions we'd ever seen. Today, that mega filament on the north has stood firm, and we'll await any movement there. Top stories. These are images of the latest landslide in China. 22 dead, dozens more affected. As Antarctic ice continues to bounce from tying to breaking record high ice records, I keep getting emails asking if the expansive freezing of that H2O wouldn't be raising the sea level there more than any other place. So I almost laughed out loud this morning when exactly that was blamed on ice melt. By the way, it's the seven year anniversary of Al Gore saying we are seven years from seeing no ice up north. I'm doing the math to update from a few days ago. We're actually about 60% above the record low ice mark for this time of year. Had some rumbling in Costa Rica and El Salvador, and more up north in Iceland. The alert level ticked back up as lava shoots made for an aesthetic wonder that has yet to significantly affect air travel like it did back in 2010. Let's look at the solar wind. We actually had a speed peak over 500 kilometers per second a bit ago. Density remained firm. The enhanced solar wind could be from those eruptions on the 26th or from the northern positive coronal holes departing now. Either way, the KP remains in flux at and just below instability. Protons, electrons, and the magnetometer. Oh my. The solar flaring hit C7 yesterday, but no more. Came from that departing group I'm watching for a goodbye pop at the limb up north. Meanwhile, the new newbies down south are magnetically unlikely to produce flaring with a gamma positive loner fading on the left and perfect magnetic separation on the right. Earth indeed left the positive influence yesterday as the negative southern corona hole entered the Earth facing forth of the sun and became geo-effective. The extension is of moderate power and the base is very strong. Otherwise, it was a pretty calm day on the sun. We're just eyeing that filament. Tropics Watch. A new low is being monitored in the southern Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't have any organization at the moment, but any Uyen factor ramp will set it in motion with a number, a name, and a one-way ticket north-northwest across Mexico and Texas. To the north, like way north. This low draws her convergence way down south into the central United States. The slightly eastward motion of the cell this evening will bring bad weather and flash flooding to the central and midwest states here. Spot that thin convergence over southeast Australia, and also the low just astride of northern New Zealand. Thunderstorm warnings aren't much to speak of, but isolated heavy precipitation is possible in the purple areas. Cristobal, Remnants over top of Iceland. Gotta eye the flow from the Mediterranean up north to just shy of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. The storm and precipitation warnings are just shy as well. And that's a little shift from when they indeed crept up over southern Sweden and created some terrible flood events. We've got images from the rescues, the global storm watches, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.20 a.m. Local Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.